What's going on everybody? My name is Cartmo and this is a very special episode. This is a bedrock tutorial. This is a bedrock tutorial because you, like most people and myself, have had a world, you made it into creative because you were mad or something, you lost all your achievements and now you're frustrated and you don't want to restart your world. Or you added a sweet add-on for like mob heads or mini blocks or something like that which required achievements to be disabled because it cheats. Well, this is a very simple method. It's going to be able to re-enable your achievements. This works for realms and everything like that. The biggest thing is you're going to need Windows 10 version of Minecraft because it's easier to modify your files. And you're also going to need an active realm subscription. So for you people on the Xbox, the Switch, the PS4, etc., etc., I highly recommend that you do pick up the version of Windows 10. If you can't, maybe one of your close friends, you can sign in on your account under their computer and you're able to open up your world because this is going to be able to re-enable your achievements and well, you want that, don't you? Get those gamer points. So let's jump straight into it. So for the sake of this video, I'm starting a brand new world just to show you that we're going to be turning the achievements off. So we're putting it in creative, turn off achievements, yes, continue. Set it to peaceful because we don't want any mobs while we're doing this recording. As the world is being created right now, let's uh, let's just talk about what's going to happen. So I'm just going to show you that we're going to fly around in creative just to prove that it is creative. And I may give myself some items and things like that, but for the most part, you can see, okay, yes, we're in creative, we're flying around, cheats are enabled, and we have achievements disabled and that is the big reason why we're here right now isn't it okay your next thing you want to do is to go into your settings you want to make sure you go back and you set your stuff to survival and look achievements cannot be earned in this world so put ourselves to survival we make sure everything's good we save and quit the game now the next step is we have to download MCC tool chest so open your web browser of choice and go to mcctoolchest.com forward slash download. Download MCC Toolchest PE Bedrock version. Click that, save it to your desktop, install the file, and I'll see you at the next step. So now that you have MCC Toolchest installed, open it up and open your world. In this case, ours was Tutorial World. What you're going to do then is go over to level.dat right here. Click on this and scroll down to has been loaded in creative one. We're gonna go up to edit. We're gonna change this value to zero and then we're gonna make sure that it saves when you can see that it's set to zero down in the bottom. We're gonna click save. We're gonna wait for the world to finish saving and then we're gonna close it and we're gonna reopen Minecraft and look at our world now. So now that Minecraft has reopened, let's uh, go back to tutor Tutorial World here. We'll click on Edit, and we'll see if you start playing with these settings, achievements will no longer be earnable in this world. The reason for that is we got to scroll back down to the bottom, and we got to turn off Activate Cheats. When we've turned that off, we can come back up to the top, and you'll see that warning message is gone, which means our achievements are re-enabled on this world. If we wanted to, we could click play right now, but we're going to go back. I'm just going to tell you this because we have a whole lot of great add-ons and things like that, especially from developers like Foxy, where these things like mini mob heads and mini blocks, they all require cheats to be enabled, and that turns off your achievements. And that's no fun if you're in a realm and you want to have fun with these mini blocks, mob heads, armor stands, things to make it similar to Java Edition. So I hope this tutorial was very helpful for you, and if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. As always, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and consider subscribing because it really does help me out. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you on the next one.